Hey guys, it's Ken Fish with Ozark Laser. We're going to be uh, updating uh, a new software for the GC35 today. So, unlike the old paper boxes, we don't need a program cable. We're going to be putting our bin file out in the open, not in a folder, on our thumb drive. And I've already got it in place. So now you stick, stick your USB drive into the side. Power on your control box. We want to go to menu. We want to scroll down to system info. Enter. Tells you the current. We got 2.1 firmware on there right now. We want to update. And we want to do the GC35 update. So once we hit enter, it's going to start looking for that bin file on our USB stick. Okay, it's found it. Now we simply hit load. Boom, that easy. All right, once we've got the software updated to the uh, 252 version, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna actually make a machine builder file for our control box. And once we've created it, we should be able to store it on our USB drive. All right, so we'll scroll down to machine type and that'll bring us to our list. We've got several empty slots here. So we'll pick number one. We're gonna enter the name. And it's a little bit of a process because you've got to run the, the dial. So you would just simply write or type in the uh, machine you're on. Happens to be a Lee boy. So that's good enough. Leave away right. Use. Alright. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my paver up and then I'm gonna bring my uh, I'm gonna bring my thumb drive back into the control box and we're gonna save all our settings. Okay, we got our control boxes all hooked up. I've got the uh, offset set. On this uh, 8616B Lee Boy. Now I want to run through the control panel settings to allow our control boxes to take over control of the tow arm cylinders. There's actually a little bit of a procedure here. It's not much, but if you didn't know about it, it could put a little damper on things. So, first off, we want to do is start a machine. lid down so we can see a little bit here kind of bright okay so the upper left hand corner there's a little paver icon we want to push the button next to that take it to another menu 
Now the upper right hand side, there's actually a grade button and it's set to manual every time the machine is turned off and then back on. So we'll have to go in here, this button, press it. Now we've got automatic control. Turn our control box on. Okay. We'll hit auto. Right now we have no automatic control yet. We need to make sure our machine is in motion. Now we've got it moving and we've got automatic control. And that is how you do that. All right, guys. Well, last thing I wanted to go over was the uh, the power valve connection from the GC35 to the machine. We actually ordered those two harnesses from Lee Boy, and the part number for those are a 1009099 harness system five for 8616. And all this harness is is a four pin Deutz connector, and our uh, Topcon cable. Uh, connector on the other side of that so I disassembled the four pin uh, Deutz and ran it through the hole on each side of this T, con T part of the console here both sides same thing ran, uh, ran the cable through put the four pin Deutz back together and on the opposite side of the machine there's six bolts that takes a uh, access panel off to get into those four pin Deutz on the machine side and they're both their four pin Deutz labeled system 5 right and system 5 left and so I ran them through at the holes, uh, zip tied to this other harness, and then to the control box on both sides of the machine. All right, so I would like to get some power, and I want to save my machine builders now. So we're gonna power on our box. And go in here to our USB. Plug it in. All right, menu, machine type, Lee Boy 86 right, copy to USB, copy successful. Shut it off. Pull my drive, I'll put my cover back on the USB port. The other box. This one's a little easier because USB is on the right side. All right, plug it in. Power on our box. Menu. Machine type. Lebo 86 left. Copy to USB. Copy successful. Alright, and that's that. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.